How's it going everyone? This is a sneak peek video of a very powerful Android handheld that's nicknamed 199 due to its proposed asking price of $199. Today we're going to do a little performance showcase, but before we do, I need to mention a few important points. This is a super early CNC engineering prototype that I'm currently borrowing, and it has a lot of key differences to the retail version. The buns are supposed to be matte and a slightly different shade of gray. The magnesium plate under the LCD isn't perfectly flat, so the LCD doesn't fit properly inside this top frame, which is why you can see that it pokes out a little bit on the left side. I could push down this if I really wanted to, but I don't want to risk breaking the screen because I would like to make more videos like this while I still have this in my hands. And if you're wondering, the cable coming out of the speaker is a simple Wi-Fi antenna. Everything else that you can see is 100% functional, as you'll see with this Genshin Impact gameplay. You'll notice that there are some small buttons on my screen, and this is because I'm using the built-in game mapping software, which also supports all of the buttons on this device, and there are a ton of input options here. You'll see me use these later, but I also have two back buttons mapped for item pickups and some dialogue options. The back won't look exactly like this, but you will have these two mappable buttons to use on the grip along with analog trigger buttons that I'll hopefully be able to show off in another video. Finally, the audio might crackle a little in this video, and that's because my audio input jack is pretty garbage and my camera really hates it, but this was the only one that I had available for this video. The footage on screen is of Genshin Impact running on the highest settings possible. I picked this game for this video mainly due to the fact that it was the only one that I had installed on my prototype from some thermal tests that I was doing over the weekend. But this is a great benchmark for an Android gaming handheld because this game can easily melt some of the best phones on the market, but it's running on this device very well thanks to some serious internal cooling. I'm going to let the rest of this footage play out on its own. If you have any questions about this device, feel free to leave them below, and if I can, I will try to answer them. This product is supposed to launch very soon, and I'm super excited to finally be able to talk about this in more detail. These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time... MLG. Thank <laughs> you. 